floor furnace sits in a recessed cavity underneath the floor of your home. The top grill of that furnace is flush with the floor, so it doesn't take up any floor space. Now these units are particularly used in small to mid-sized homes and are great because they don't require any electricity or ductwork. The forces of convection allow that heated air to rise up into the home and circulate throughout it, particularly in homes with more simple floor plans, not a lot of rooms off of each other, so that that air can be circulated evenly. Now, a floor furnace, although not consuming any electricity, is not a very efficient consumer of natural gas or propane. Unfortunately, they only achieve about 58% efficiency. A lot of other furnaces are closer to 70 or 80% efficiency, and most ducted systems are 80 all the way up to 95% efficiency. A lot of folks shopping for floor furnaces are doing so because they're replacing an existing floor furnace and have no other options that will be feasible for their situation. So here we have a floor furnace. You can see it fills a pretty significant size cavity underneath the floor of your home. There's a pretty rigid register here that can support the weight of a person walking across it, but you don't want to do that too frequently uh, as it will get hot during the heating season. When placing a floor furnace, you want to select a location that is both central so that heat coming up out of that register and dissipating throughout the home is spread evenly, but it's also a relatively low traffic area. You don't want people constantly walking over it. Now, these floor furnaces come with a millivolt thermostat that will actually be mounted on a wall somewhere centrally located in the home to get a nice average temperature of the whole house and send a signal back to the furnace indicating when to turn it on and off. You also get the control wire, which will run from that thermostat down to the bottom of the furnace, down in that cavity. There's a wire, a control wire, right here by the gas valve, where you'll connect that control wire. The gas valve here is where you'll connect that natural gas or propane line. If you're doing propane, you will need to purchase the optional LP conversion kit. Now the gas will travel through that gas valve and underneath to the burner which is located about in the center of the unit at the bottom. Let's go ahead and take the grill off and take a look inside. So the controls are here on this side of the furnace. There's a knob where you control that gas valve and a, a key chuck comes with the unit. Slides right between the grates on the register. So you can adjust that without having to lift that register off. There's also a push button spark igniter to light the pilot so you don't have to get down to the bottom with a match. Over here is one of the most important safety features on a floor furnace, and that is this valve, which will actually allow the furnace to shorten its cycle a little bit so that that grill doesn't get too hot on top. Now on the coldest days of the year, you may want to bypass that safety feature, and you can do that by pulling on this chain and closing the valve. This will allow the furnace to fully cycle, which will also result in that grill getting quite a bit hotter. So you'll need to ensure that there's a barricade or some way to prevent anybody from inadvertently walking across that hot grill. Here you can also see the heat exchanger of the unit. It's a clamshell style heat exchanger. And there's a little sight glass where you can verify the pilot is lit and check the flame. The exhaust from the combustion travels through that heat exchanger out through the two ports into the exhaust container on the side here where it can then be vented and terminate outdoors. Of course, you'll need to follow the manufacturer's installation manual as well as all national venting codes in designing that vent system. Floor furnaces are a great option if you've got a remote cabin or if you've got a limited space floor plan that you need to provide heat to.